It's pretty easy to get the roly polies, you know, the pill bugs, and the earthworms out of the habitat. You go around and give everyone a roly poly bug first, a pill bug first. So one of the easiest ways to do that is to pick up a log, you know, a piece of wood, and the brush, and just brush one or two into each of the students' containers. In the forest floor activity, students are watching, observing the pill bugs, observing the earthworms, so they're not picking them up. But what they can do, again, you have these little con the container that has all the little Q-tips in it. They can move them around carefully. They can move the paper around carefully. They can see if they can pick a pill bug up and have it hang around on the Q-tip. Sometimes they will, sometimes they won't. All right, But it's a little less um, dangerous to the pill bugs to have them picked up that way than first grade fingers because a lot of times they get squashed. And the same with the earthworms. They can dangle the earthworm. Um, they can find it, dangle it off of the Q-tip. That's okay too. But we're at, what we're after here is they're not just picking them up and holding them in their hands because it does tend to uh, kill the forest floor critters. They're just red worms. I don't know if you can see it on the spoon, but there is a little red worm on the end of the spoon in the dirt. And you can either drop just the worm by itself. And, and you know, you can pick these up with your hands. It's okay. Uh, but if you feel like using the spoon, you can. Then you just take it and you drop it into the student container. And they should start to see the worm wiggle around. Um, it's probably better to put the worms on the top of something because then the worms will try to move around un and get underneath out of the light, which gives the kids a chance to watch the earthworm too. So what you have in their containers now, you have a couple of pill bugs, sow bugs, isopods. They all go by all those different names. And then you also have one earthworm. When the students are finished with their critters, their forest floor critters, very carefully, because the earthworm is probably going to be underneath the paper, just shake it back into your teacher container. Um, if the pill bugs are on the paper also, again, shake those off. If you need to use the spoon, you can do that, but definitely put all the forest floor critters back into the larger habitat. They have to stay moist, especially the sow bugs, they have to stay moist in order to live, even from class to class.